As the Russia-Ukraine war enters its third year, this is what the Russian president had to say recently. In spite of the West's sanctions and military and financial aid to Ukraine, Russia continues to make steady gains. While cracks emerge within the NATO bloc over its aid to Ukraine, the disunity within countries like the US and among the Western nations stands exposed. What's next in the Russia-Ukraine war? I'm Shivan Channa. This is Game Plan. As the war completes two years, Russia has gained full control of the longtime Ukrainian stronghold of Avdiivka, which is just a few miles from Donetsk, which it has already occupied. This is Russia's biggest gain since capturing the city of Bakhmut in May 2023. Russia is now advancing along a 1,000-kilometer front line with Kremlina, Bakhmut, Mariinka, Robotyn, and now FDFK becoming focal positions. Russia has a 10-to-1 shelling advantage, which the Ukrainians cannot match by any stretch. As U.S. $60 billion military aid for Ukraine remains in limbo in U.S. Congress, the pressure is now on European nations to fund Ukraine's resistance, and all Western nations are not in favor of it. Even though EU has agreed to $54 billion in Ukrainian aid after much resistance from Hungary, cracks have emerged within the West as Germany is pointing fingers at other Western nations for not providing enough aid. Sweden and Finland's NATO accession bids again highlighted the split within Western nations for ratifying newer members. Hungary took a long time to agree to Finland's NATO membership, and a similar delay has been seen for Sweden's NATO accession. Not to mention NATO member Turkey's double game of keeping Russia in good spirits while slow peddling on Sweden and Finland memberships. As per reports, several Western nations continue dealing with Russia despite their own sanctions. Exports to Russia were most prominent from Germany and Lithuania. Germany, France, and Poland dominated indirect imports among other Western nations. Earlier this month, Ukraine signed a $3.2 billion security pact with France and a similar pact with Germany that pledged more sanctions on Russia, among other things. Now, it's interesting to note that just hours after signing both these deals, Ukrainian forces withdrew from Avdiivka. And I've already shown you how efficiently Germany and France circumvent these Western sanctions on Russia. But are quick to question India on its energy dealings with Russia. The war has entered its third year, and by now, some things are clear. Number one. Russia will not retreat. Number two, NATO clearly underestimated Russia's war stamina and resolve. And number three, Western nations should first bring their own house in order before pointing fingers at other nations like India for doing business with Russia. Do you think the war in Ukraine will end anytime soon? Let me know in the comments.